Hi children, welcome to class level health and physical education online class. Today we are going to learn about measurement of health related fitness from unit 7 test measurement and evaluation. Health related fitness. Health related fitness involves exercise activities that you do in order to try to improve your physical fitness and stay healthy. Health related fitness is an important component of physical education program. There are five components of health related fitness. They are cardiovascular endurance, muscular strength, muscular endurance, flexibility and body composition. Cardiovascular endurance is the ability to exercise the entire body for long period of time. Muscular strength is the amount of force a muscle or muscle groups can exert. Muscular endurance is the ability to use the muscles which are attached to the bones several times even without getting tired. Flexibility is the range of movements of joints. Body composition is the percentage of lean body mass. Here we are going to learn the procedure and the methods of measuring various components of health related fitness. Harvard step test. The purpose of this test is to measure cardiovascular fitness. The equipment required is a gym bench or box 20 inches height for men and 16 inches height for women. A stopwatch and cadence tape. The procedure of the test is athlete stands in front of the box to perform the test. On the command go, the athlete steps up and down on the bench for 5 minutes continuously with 30 steps in a minute. So the athlete will perform 150 steps in 5 minutes. After that, the athlete will sit down. Then the heartbeat of the athlete will be checked 3 times in 1 minute to 1.5 minutes, 2 minutes to 2.5 minutes and 3 minutes to 3.5 minutes. Then the fitness index score formula can be used to find out the exact score. The formula is 100 into test duration in seconds divided by 2 into sum of heartbeats in recovery periods. The example score is given in test book. It is very much important to find out the cardiovascular endurance. Push-ups. The purpose of push-ups is to measure the upper body strength and endurance. The equipment required is a floor mat, paper and pen and pen to record age, gender and total number of push-ups. The procedure of push-ups is the subject should take position after warming up. The hands should be shoulder width, width apart. The upper body and legs should be in a straight line. Elbow should be fully extended and the knee should be straight. The subject lowers the upper body so that the elbows bend 90 degrees or chest are also may touch the mat. Then come to starting position. Perform push-ups with proper rhythm. The number of push-ups can be noted as score. Modified push-ups. It is also performed like push-ups, but a small modification is there. The purpose and equipment required are same like push-ups. In the procedure, in push-ups, elbows fully extended and the knee straight. But in modified push-ups, the elbows fully extended and the knees placed on the floor for extra support to perform it properly only for girls. Partial curl up. It is to measure strength and endurance of the abdominal muscles. The equipment required is a flat clean and cushioned surface. 
recording sheet and pen. The procedure of partial curl up is the subject lies in supine position on the cushion surface surface the knee should be flexed and the feet should be 12 inches from the buttocks both the feet should be slightly apart arms are rested on thighs the head should be in neutral position this is the starting position then the subject curl up with the slow movement shoulder should be raised to 2 inches slowly and back to normal starting position in 3 seconds. This can be continued till the subject maintain the rhythm. Record the total number of partial curl ups. Curl ups should not be counted if the shoulders are not raised up by 2 inches. The advantage of this test is it is very simple, quick to perform, requires minimum effort and Many students may be tested at a time. Sit and reach test. The purpose of this test is to measure flexibility. Equipment required is sit and reach box or a makeshift ruler and a box. The procedure of sit and reach test is the subject should remove shoes and socks. Then sit down with legs stretched out. The soles of the feet should be kept flat against the box. Palms should be facing downwards. Hands should be on the top of each other. Subject tries to extend his or her both hands forward along the measuring line on the box. The fingertips of both hands remain equal. No jerk movements allowed. The subject should hold full reach position for 2 seconds and the score distance should be recorded. The scoring is recorded to the nearest centimeter or half inch. The advantages of this test is it is a simple test and easy to perform. Disadvantage of this test is this test is good for joint flexibility of lower back and hamstring muscles not related to the flexibility of other joint of the body. Body mass index. The purpose of this test is to measure body composition. The equipment required is scales and stadiometer. The procedure of BMI test is the height and weight of the subject should be measured. Height in meters and the weight in kilograms. Then the measurements will be used in the following formula. Body mass index is equal to weight divided by height into height. The answer should be compared with the rating scale. The rating scale is same for both male and female. The higher score usually indicates higher levels of body fat. The scoring scale is given here. If the score is less than 18.5, then the person will be underweight category. If the score is in between 18.5 to 24.9, the person will be in normal weight category. If the score is in between 25 to 29.9, the person will be in overweight category. If the score is in between 30 to 34.9, the person will be in obesity class 1 category. If the score is in between 35 to 39.9, the person will be in obesity class 2 category. If the score is in between 40 to 49.9, the person will be in obesity class 3 category. This is the method to calculate BMI. Children, these are the important six tests to calculate the health related physical fitness. Thank you children. Have a nice day.